What's going on, everybody, and welcome in to the Super Bowl edition of the DFS Studs FanDuel. Hurry up. I'm Ryan Williams. You can find me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And as always, I'm here to give you guys my three plays that I'm targeting for the FanDuel DFS slate. And this time we got the FanDuel single game slate going for the Super Bowl. We got one game left, the big game to win it all. Cincinnati uh, going into LA to take on the Rams. It should be a fun one. Now, before we get into the plays, as always, guys, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Get all of our content. We got some fun content that's coming out uh, just around the Super Bowl in general. As far as betting goes, DFS goes, we're going to have you guys covered for everything uh, to get you set here over the next week and a half or so. So with that being said, let's get into the FanDuel DFS studs. We got to start it off, not at the quarterback position. We're going to start it off. We're going to go highest price to lowest price here on the single game slate. Makes it interesting when we have to go for MVP and then get other get four other players in the flex to to pair along with that MVP. For MVP, we're going to talk about Cooper Cup here, who comes in at 16 uh, five. He comes in at $16,500, highest priced player on the slate, but really is the player that could put this out of reach. Uh, has a home game here in Los Angeles. Uh, we know it's going to be rocking there, and this guy's just been absolutely on a tear. You're looking at him having 11 games on the season with 100 yards and a touchdown, uh, five games with 120 receiving yards in two touchdowns that just happened last week and if Cooper Cup has an explosive game like this in a home game if the Rams are able to hoist the Lombardi we have to believe that this guy has a chance to be MVP love his MVP odds as they're coming in on the FanDuel Sportsbook but especially for the single game slate I mean this guy if he gets all the work here you're looking at Van Jefferson who was kind of a piece uh, an integral piece for this team when Robert Woods first went down before they brought Odell in he's only seen about uh, eight targets in the three games. I know Odell's been getting going lately, but we know the red zone role is carved out for Cooper Cup. We know Matthew Stafford's rapport with Cooper Cup, and this is a defense in Cincinnati. We saw them allow a big game to A.J. Brown. We saw them allow uh, 78 yards receiving to Tyreek Hill in the first half. I know it was uh, it was a uh, tough sledding for the Kansas City Chiefs there in the second half, but definitely explosive games to be had. You're looking at the past two games for Cooper Cup, uh, 183 and one against Tampa Bay there in the divisional round, and then 142 and two, like I said in the championship round. This guy is an absolute stud. He might not be the the MVP of the league this year. Maybe he is in your eyes, but uh, definitely he. He's going to be the MVP candidate for me on the FanDuel single game slate for the Super Bowl. And let's talk about the Cincinnati side here. I got two players for you on the Cincinnati side. Listen, if Cooper Cup's putting up a big game, going to need a big game for the other guys. Let's start off with Joe Mixon, who's running back. He comes in at 12 uh, five here. He's twelve thousand five hundred dollars. You you love that you're seeing him get into the mix here. I know it's been tough for the Cincinnati Bengals. They've left a lot of points on the field in these past couple of games, getting into the red zone. And Evan McPherson is pretty much their their MVP as it stands right now uh, for the playoffs. I, I actually do like Evan McPherson, uh, but I digress. Uh, Joe Mixon. 100 total yards in, in consecutive games here. We we love that. We also love that this backfield, nobody else is seeing a carry in this backfield right now. I know probably people will talk themselves into Samaj P. Ryan, who was able to find pay dirt last week on a broken play there, uh, getting a pass, uh, pass catching work out of the backfield. Uh, but really, the red zone role comes down comes down to Joe Mixon. And even in the pass catching role, you love that he's seen 15, tar 15 total targets in the playoffs, R pretty much averaging five targets a game there with the three games that they've played. Um, this is absolutely a, a stellar spot for him. Um, I know that people are going to talk about, you know, the, the tough sledding that, that running backs have had um, against this Rams team. You know, James Conner and Chase Edmonds struggled. Leonard Fournette, you know, he had the big game through touchdowns, but really didn't wasn't able to get going rushing. Um, and then Eli Mitchell last week wasn't able to get rushing. All of these guys did not see more than 15, uh, 15 carries in those games. And we know Joe Mixon's been getting going just coming off of a 21-carry game against the Kansas City Chiefs. I think they will try and get him going as long as the game 
isn't with, uh, you know, isn't a two score game or something like that. Even if it is this guy, you know, 72% snap share is what he's seeing in the past couple of games. If he gets the touchdown work here, um, you know, one, if, if two, he makes for an excellent flex pay. And I love uh, getting Joe Mixon here uh, to leverage off of the teams that have Joe Burrow. And then speaking of which, you know, we're talking about this is going to be my third DFS stud for the week. It's Jamar Chase. He comes in at 12,000. Don't want to bury the lead. That's who it is. And if, you know, if I'm not playing uh, Joe Burrow, at least let me get a guy who I think all of the work can go to. You know, the fun thing about the single game slate is you can have a guy, you know, like a Jamar Chase. Let's think about that Kansas City game, right? So Joe Burrow goes out there. He throws for 404. You think he'd be a stellar person to have in your fan duel lineup he puts up 30 points okay well on that other side chase who caught three touchdowns in in that game in the regular season he put up 50 fan duel points there and on a single game slate we really are looking for raw scores here so if all the work is going to jamar chase a guy who's not seeing the field over 95 percent uh snaps in in the playoffs here uh, we saw t higgins drop down to about around 88 it's going to be interesting with cg cj uzama who's dealing with that knee injury actually uh going to try and go for the Super Bowl, has a couple of days rest. Uh, but really, the offense runs through Jamar Chase. They're going to try and get him into space. And especially at this 12K price tag, he has the ability um, to be a catalyst to really, you know, put the team over. If he's, you know, he was able to find pay dirt um, for the wide receiver group who is having trouble. They have trouble scoring touchdowns in this postseason. But he was able to get into the end zone last week. We think that can carry on into the Super Bowl here. Um, and people might be afraid of the of the Jalen Ramsey matchup here. I'm not going to be afraid of that. They're going to try and move him around. They're going to get him out in space. And even when you're looking at that, look at Mike Evans, who just had success earlier on in this playoffs against this team, 8-1-19 and 1. If Chase is able to get that, we absolutely love what we can get from him this week. So those are going to be my three DFS studs there. We're talking about Cooper Cup, getting him into lineups, Joe Mixon and Jamar Chase, getting them into lineups for the Cincinnati Bengals. And we're going to, you know, hope to to have some huge success, big payouts on Super Bowl Sunday uh, that comes up here in a, in a couple of weeks. Definitely exciting stuff, guys. This wraps up the season here. For uh, NFL DFS, this will be the last game, but don't don't worry. We're gonna have you guys covered um, with with all betting stuff. Like I said, for the Super Bowl, can't wait to talk about the draft prospects and get that rolling for you guys. It's gonna be an exciting off season. And also, you can check out the YouTube channel if you want to get into some other DFS sports as we start getting into NBA and the MLB season if that happens as well. So, guys, good luck on Super Bowl Sunday. Get those bets in. Get those lineups in for DFS and have a good one from FanDuel in the FanDuel Sportsbook. Ryan Williams at Ryan Williams at Ryan Alexander underscore W is where you can find me on Twitter. I'll catch you guys through the offseason and next year. Peace. Peace.